Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Davidoff Demi Tasse. If I could just get the autofocus to fix on the label. It's pretty basic Davidoff white on gold label. And there's nothing too special about this cigar. It's a uh, Purito size, give or take. And it's, again, you're looking at Davidoff prices, but it's... Uh, Reasonable. I've actually had one of these before. The plug. Plugs are very firm. Uh, sorry, that's not a plug. The uh, foot. The foot seems very firm. That's definitely had uh, a little bit of glue or something on there. As for the plug, the plug is surprisingly loose. This is something I've never really understood, but I've seen this on multiple Davidoff cigars. That just looks right off. It's a very firm cigar. Definitely. All around feels very firm. Here there seems to be a, a decent bit of more, a spot that's you know a decent bit more firm than the rest. The rest of it seems kind of soft. It smells very light. Not getting much off this. Uh, generic Dutch. I would gay. I'm sorry. I would go for. Yeah, maybe Holland. Uh, it's a uh, traditional, sort of the generic European tobaccos you tend to see in most of these types of cigars. So, let's uh, light this up and have a look at it. The room ashtray is doing way over there. Not very even burn. As you may be able to see actually. As a good sign, the ashes starts off glowing straight white. Usually even on Cuban scars that tends to be quite a bit towards a dark grey. But now this is very um very white. Before we really get into it, let's um, have a look here. It's £2.69. Compare it to the £2.89, I believe closer to £3 David Office Quiz Toss, it actually is a little bit bigger. It's 3 or 5 star reviews, uh, 4 inches, 25 ring gauge, and yeah, it seems to be quite a mild smoke. I would, you know, let's get on to that with the review. I bought three of these as a sort of day-to-day -day smoke, and they seem to be fitting that criteria quite well. I mean, they're a little bit on the expensive side for you know what I was looking for, but they actually you know do have a bit of quality with that. Since I did leave this a minute, this uh, ash seems to have already snapped. So let's just get off there without disturbing the cigar much. While well, we've still got most of the original size. Let's compare it side by side to the David Exquisitos. As you can see, it's actually maybe like a centimeter, centimeter and a half longer. Can't see it now because of some of the ash I took off. But it's a bit thicker, and um, yeah, it's a little bit cheaper. As you see, it's more of a richer brown tobacco. And it tastes very good, but that one's a bit more like an expensive mini cigar. That'll have its own review someday, though. I would compare this with you know most generic Puros I'd have, and in that category, it's okay. I mean the price is still a little bit high, maybe 50% more than the Monte Cristo Puros, which are my current day-to-day, -day, you know, the one I would have every day, as well as the La Paz. But yeah, they're quite nice. Maybe sit back after eating and have one of these. I've um, 
I just reviewed a Vasco da Gama Brazil cigar and uh, I had to stop that review midway and I'm not going to do anything with that review because I didn't like the cigar. I tend to only review not only just the reviews that I like myself, but if I'm not liking a cigar I would just stop it. There's no point in having a cigar you don't enjoy. This is a cigar I definitely do enjoy though. It does have the um, the very high price tag of Davidoff cigars, but it does taste a bit like your generic Davidoff cigar. I do have Davidoff minis, and they're doing okay. I mean, um, I had eight of ten of those. I'm saving two of them, but I. Uh, I don't know, I definitely think it's just a bigger version of one of those. They're about a pound each, considering they're minis. It's um, taking a bit of time to burn through this. I'm actually smoking a bit quickly because I've already reviewed the scar tonight, and uh, time wise, I don't want this to drag on forever. As per usual, Coke tends to complement everything. That is um, Coke Zero. I switched from Pepsi Max. The actual um, wrapper itself is actually kind of a um, medium to coarse sandpaper kind of feel you usually get. It's not at all smooth. I mean, the, the veins and everything, there's not really anything in the way of that. The seals are quite nice. It seems like uh, towards the upper end of machine rolled cigars. Also to mention these do come in a 10 pack and I've got the price here. It is for a box of 10, £26.89, so around £27 mark. This is about £2.70, so you are paying for 10 of these. When I say box, I just mean normal packet. For example, like this, this is, you know, paper, cardboard. Davidoff, they always have this sort of minimalist look. The scars are always quite minimalist, and well, I mean, comparing it to the price, they're uh, far from basic. They seem to be um, more of a luxury cigar, and the price is luxury, but the taste, it's um, definitely up there. I mean, The audio should be fine. I had definitely a little bit of tang on the tongue. As for the amount of air let's through, I mean it's a relatively cool smoke. It's getting a bit towards medium now. It seems to be leaving a little bit of spiciness on the tongue, I would just, I would say probably that. Definitely a mild taste. I mean, there's not very much left. Um, I mean, it smells pretty. Um, I would say this has less effect than a mini cigar in terms of you know the uh, the sort of punch you get with it. You definitely taste it all the way from the back of your throat. I know, I would say uh, this does seem to be depositing a lot of taste, but there's not really 
much substance to the taste. It's a very um, nice light one. Some people like that, some people don't. I would probably choose this to um, some other cigars, but for the price, maybe not. Personally, I would say if you're going to buy a box of 10 of these, don't. You should buy two packs of the, well, two of the five packs of the Monte Cristo Purios, which I think are better. Save yourself a bit of money as well. Um, if you're going to buy one of these, if you're going to buy them individually, uh, I would say, yeah, go ahead, buy one. They're very nice to try out. I bought three of them, and I think they're pretty good. But if I was going to have them as a more regular smoke, I would go for the Monte Cristo Purios. I mean, um, you're paying less for a decent small Cuban scar. Also similar to the Guantanamera Prios. Let's roll that ash off. Time wise it's actually not doing too bad. I would say this would be a nice after dinner scar maybe. First price I would say if you're gonna walk around if um you're outside you fancy a scar, I would take a pack of mini scars with you or a pack of Monte Cristo Purios like I do. I wouldn't probably take one of these. If you were out on a night out and you wanted to have a pack of scars to uh, show a little bit of class, maybe these might do the job. I would say the Monte Cristo Purios for that situation would also take over for me because it's nice to offer someone, you know, a bit of Cuban cigar. They always taste very good, they're very sweet. Most people will enjoy them, most smokers will enjoy them. Um, most people who have, you nearly know, everyone has cigars would probably enjoy them as, you know, a light smoke. Um, as for this, um, if you're trying to, you know, be a bit flashy, I would say probably these. But again, price is also something to consider. I believe the Monte Cristo Puritos are something like pound twenty each. Let me just double check that. Just compare. They're seven pounds. So that's less than a pound four each. Basically. Um, quite a bit less than half of this and it's a little bit bigger of a scar I believe I happen to have a pack on standby I've got loads of these just laying around I love having packs I can't open I um, never have any nails, so it's always a bit of a problem. I forgot there's a little bit of a seal here. I do have another one of these so I could show you what a complete one looks like in comparison. Uh, as you can see the Monte Cristo Prio is actually a little bit bigger. Um, let me just line the tops of these up, it's kind of hard to see with the packs. There we go. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit darker, I think it's a little bit of a nicer richer tobacco. But it does still have some of that nice sweet Cuban taste into it. And it does cost less than half the price of this Dutch cigar. David off something I've never really understood. It's um extremely luxury cigars, but I never find too many things special about them. I think they're definitely towards the upper end of what they are. But um, never really worth the price. 
so right now this is uh, gone very 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 soft nothing's come out of the plug which is actually pretty good I need to remember to keep sealing all the uh, bags of cigars I've got Oops, I've also got to remember to, you know, get more humidor packs. I think the first, maybe third of this went very quickly, but I'm starting to think the uh, the rest of this has actually been a decent amount of time, I think. I mean, it did actually take a bit of time for that third one. I was commending that, but this seems to be taking even longer. It's quite a nice cigar, actually. But then again, you are paying for it. But remember, for uh, less than three of those, you could buy five of these. And in case you're wondering, yeah, that is a PS2. Uh, that is an original. I bought that PS2 pretty much right when it came out. And um, it's been a very good console, I mean. I... I never considered getting a PS4, never really wanted to, uh, I enjoyed the Xbox 360, but I can say it's never really stuck around in the console that the PS2 has for, you know, fun, like games like Grand Theft Auto and Andreas. Starting to get a lot of smoke now. Maybe because it's softening up, definitely, probably letting in a bit more rare than it should. Um, yeah, it definitely seems to be... If these were hand rolled, of course it's impractical to hand roll many cigarillos, but if it was, that would justify the price, but it isn't, so there's not really much justification there. I would say if you're putting these right at the top end, I would say maybe £2 would be a fair price to pay for these, because you know they are in general a little bit better than the Prios um, in general, but to be honest, I'd rather pick up a Prio than this. The Monte Cristo ones, anyway. But considering it's really at the top, I would say I probably paid two pounds for this. Maybe not two pounds seventy like it is. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but if you're going to be buying a lot of them, say like a box of one of the boxes of ten, you're paying an extra seven pounds when you really don't want to be. Of course, this is all my opinion, so um, you can make your own mind up. Dash is still doing pretty good. A little bit on the end there from pinning down the ashtray. Just make sure that's off. I'd say this is a very welcome scar because, as I mentioned before, I did have a Vasco de Gamma just before this. And I was really disappointed to the point I didn't even want to finish the review on it, so I just stopped that. I'm probably not going to review that another day anyway. And this is definitely a nice, sweet, welcome change over it. Even though that's a 42 ring gauge, 6 inch long cigar, this seems to have much better control. And it's not really getting too hot, even though we're really towards the end now. Still medium heat. It's not doing that over burning thing like you'd expect. However, the taste is getting a bit that way. I'm not sure if that's got whistling or uh, those uh, whistling fireworks, since it seems to be so regular. Uh, you probably can't hear it, it's just that uh, I've got the window open. A little bit coming out of the plug. Oh no, that's a jockey, don't worry. Don't know who this bobcat there is, but he suddenly seems desperate for him.
this has been longer than I've expected. And I would say we're really close to ending this one. Um, also for the timing of this video, this uh, won't matter to people watching this in the far future, but around the time I uploaded it, I announced my giveaway winner a couple days ago. Um, that same night, he's got me on Twitter. I follow him on Twitter and he follows me on Twitter. And yeah, I just checked. It was him. And uh, yeah, I got the delivery stuff arranged, already ordered it. And he should be expecting it within a week. So he will let me know when he gets that. I mean, it was only a Romeo and Juliet, Romeo number two tube, but it's, that's um, I think it's one of the better cigars I've had. It's definitely a very good one. So I went to give one away, but I think next time I might give a bit more away. I don't do giveaways to um, get subscribers, whatever. I really just want to, you know, give back a bit to the community. And to be honest, it's quite good sharing one of my favourite cigars with everyone. And I would really like to, you know, share every good cigar I get, but that's a bit financially demanding, so it's not. Definitely from the thick smoke. And I think we're getting towards the end here, so let's just end this here. So that's the Davidoff Demitas, the uh, pretty generic, pretty old shaped cigar. It's a reasonable size. Um, I would say if you could afford that as your day to day smoke, you're going to have quite a good time. It's uh, quite a good cigar, quite good quality, quite everything. But personally, I would prefer to save a bit of money, pay less than half of that for. Hang on, I'm just thinking because. Um, Seven pounds twenty seven for ten of them. I fifteen. Yeah, you could get pretty much Yeah, you can. You can get double these for the price of the um Demitas. So you could get four packs of these, which is twenty for ten Demitas. So I was saying the Monte Cristo Prios. I would definitely suggest these over them, but if you have one-offs or you like to order just a couple extra cigars in that price range to add to your order like I did, then uh, yeah, I think they're definitely worth a gander. I mean, we've got David off quality, but of course David off price. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. In the description is my Facebook. You could go there, Cigar Hub Facebook. I post whenever I live stream. I post a lot of different things there. Every single um, cigar I have, I tend to document there. I don't spam you with posts though. You can also find my Patreon if you want to support me. Sorry, I burp all the time. You also find, um, what was it? The links to the two places to get my scars. It's only really Seagars Limited right now. But I also keep the, uh, the backy shop in there because I can. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next review.